time for a bit of an update on what's happening with my solar. We've um, had the quote through for actually putting the solar panels back on the garage and it was horrendous. Um, it was nearly uh, as much as actually buying a new system. So we're not going to do that. Um, I had a chat with the um, electrical company and they were really good about it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to put the solar panels back on the roof ourselves. Um, the way the system's designed is really, really good. So um, essentially all of the electrical work can be done from within the building. Um, the N-phase converters, uh, the microinverters that we've got on our system are basically all pre-wired. So um, they come as a string and you just plug them in um, and then you, you poke uh, the bare wire through uh, the, uh, the roof uh, and then you can, you can wire it up. So basically we can do all of the heavy lifting completely safely all the scaffolding's already here, so we can put that. Uh, uh, all the, you know, we can do all the stuff that's going to take the time, and obviously time is money, so that's why the quote was so much. Um, so we can do all of that, and then they just agreed to come along and commission the system, um, remap uh, all of the microinverters to the new positions as long as we take the serial numbers. So um, it should be good. So um, we're going to get on with that today. We're going to get started. It's not going to take. Uh, it's not going to be as quick as taking them off because we're going to spend some time. Um, we've got to make sure that we get the rails all right. Um, I managed to find um, the a wholesaler that will um, uh, supply all of the the components because because we're putting the solar panels in a different configuration. We need different end, different amounts of end um, clamps, and uh, we need a couple of extra rails. So it was really important that we got the same. Um, make um, otherwise we could have all sorts of problems so I uh, managed to find a great wholesaler in Cambridge who uh, do that so I've ordered that and that stuff's all here um, and I'll show you a little bit about that later but um, we'll do a, another time lapse uh, maybe we'll get some more cowboy music on and, um, and we'll uh, we'll go from there so check it out we've got some new bits we've got some new rail here and then we've got some more brackets so these brackets go underneath the tiles, they hook into the, um, uh, they, they tie in, they screw in to the um, rafters. Um, uh, basically, because this roof is much smaller, we've got to have more brackets because of the wind loads. So essentially we're going to have a uh, bracket on every rafter rather than every other rafter. Now, there's lots of calculations that go into wind loadings, but practically speaking, there's really only two options in most like modern houses with a with a tiled roof um, basically your rafters will be every 600 so you've either got to fix them every other every other rafter or every rafter so um, you know there's not there's not really much choice um, if you need to fix any uh, any closer than that uh, then you're in a very windy region of the world um, a hurricane or, or, or you know cyclone region um, they normally go every sort of uh, half meter every 500 but I'm guessing that's just so that when they find your roof it's still got your solar panels attached to it um, because uh, you know <laughs> it's, if it's going to get windy it's going to get windy um, right so that, that's all the extra stuff that we've got we'll go about putting them on one Lovely, yeah, very good, nice and level. Basically, just put one in that end, one in that end, just to get it all level, and then we'll do the rest of them. Now we know it's all good. Uh, setback number one uh, when you level it, make sure you actually get it central on the roof, otherwise you need to take it all apart and then get it central on the roof before levelling it again. So, lesson learnt. So save yourselves a bit of time, uh, but not, not much. Uh, these are the old tiles uh, from the original installation and you can see that the backs have been cut out of some of them where the uh, mounting brackets go. This is a tile that we've got to cut because 
uh, on the new roof obviously the brackets aren't going exactly the same place so um, not sure how many new ones we're going to have to cut but obviously we've saved ourselves a couple and these will save ourselves some more as we go um, but we will have to cut some more because we're putting new bracket more we're putting more brackets in anyway so yeah so angle grinder time So what have we learned? Um, well, we've got the first rail on, it's all good. Um, we've just got to cut, well, just cut the tiles, we'll put them back on. Now, this was a bit of a test because we haven't, we've, whilst we've taken them off, we haven't actually sort of spent the time to uh, learn how to put them on properly. So we've just spent this first, uh, uh, spent this morning just uh, doing this first rail, making sure it's done properly. Um, and now what we'll do is we will do uh, each of the individual tasks now required to put the rail up so uh, the the rest of the rails up so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to locate all of the uh, other brackets so the, th the thing about this job is if we do each of the same tasks all at once then it's going to go much quicker so we're going to put all of the brackets in for all of the rails uh, then we're going to cut all of the tiles then we're going to put the tiles back on because the tiles go much uh, back on much better if the rail isn't in place and then we're going to uh, we need to cut the rails uh, because um, we've got uh, some four uh, four meter rails they need to come down to about three meters um, we'll cut all of those and then we'll put the rails on so might not get all that done today um, but that's the order of things so basically we're just going to do all of the bits um, in one go so that we're just basically doing them in batches um, and that way uh, everything's going to go together a lot a lot more quickly um, than this uh, this first rail but it was important to make sure that we could do all of the tasks that we needed to do um, otherwise you know we get stuck on something we haven't got the right tools to do one bit or something like that we have to go out and get some gr gr different grinding discs for example um, then you know potentially we would have had all the roof tiles off and we would have been stuck for half an hour which is okay but you know if it rains then um, it's, it's not so great so um, at least we know we've got everything we can do uh, the job um, so we'll crack on So we managed to get two rails up uh, today. Um, the first rail was a bit of a test, so you know that took a, a lot longer than you know the second rail went up much quicker. Um, had to grind out all the tiles for the second rail though, so that took a bit of a, a, a while. But now I know how sort of deep uh, to do the grinding. It should again that should be much quicker. So that's two. Um, so we've got another four rails to put up basically. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll do that tomorrow, and then um, the panels will be ready to go on. So all in all, um, it's a long job, which is why it costs a lot of money, but it's not a tricky job. So, you know, all of the electrics is completely separate from the work that we're doing now, um, which is great. We can just crack on with this, poke the wires through, and then the electrician can come along and commission the system. So... Excellent. Roll on tomorrow. Right, well, morning. Um, last night didn't go to plan. Um, so, we're not getting started on this as early as I'd like because uh, last night we got woken up by our central heating system failing. Hmm. Nice. So it turns out it was this, um, which uh, is a, a part of the pump uh, control mechanism. So we've got no heating at the moment, so that's uh, that's fun. So I'm um, not sure how much we're going to get done today, um, but I'm going to try and get most of it done um, because um, you know uh, it'd be nice to get all these rails sorted, uh, and then the panels will just go on really quickly. So we'll see.
next set of tiles to do. I've got a new technique of uh, grinding these tiles out now, so I'm going to cut them and then I'm going to use the bolster just to crack off as much as I can so that then um, I can grind them flat so I don't use so many of these grinding discs, going through loads of these grinding discs just trying to go and grind them out because um, it's, it's really hard stuff. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to do on these ones, so hopefully that should go a lot better. better. Yeah, we've lost the light again so that serves us right for starting this job at one o'clock in the uh, afternoon in the middle of winter so it's been quite mild though actually so that's not been too bad but um, yeah we just uh, that uh, central heating failure earlier has really put us back although we managed to do most of what I had intended to do today um, bar one rail so not bad going considering we uh, really should have had a full day at it today um, instead of a half day um, and a short half day at that so Yep, we've got all but the last rail in at the top, um, so uh, we've uh, just got the one more rail in here to do and then we can start putting the microinverters back on um, and the panels back on, so hopefully that will happen next time, so tune in. Well if that's all that goes wrong today I'll be, I'll be happy. Over filling my coffee.